If you've clicked this video, this means you're interested in buying a tablet from China. But it is pretty tricky, if you ask me. In 2019, I did bought a couple of these tablets and just wondering what are we going to get so you don't have to waste your money. But at the end, I got a very old one and I got a fake one. So in 2020, or better said 2020, different new devices are coming on the market, for example with Wish, AliExpress. But the question is, what are we going to get? And that is what we're going to take a close look at the video today. We're going to take a close look at the new 2020 model, a budget tablet, and is this thing worth our money? Fun fact, all of these tablets come in the basic box. The build quality is pretty decent, it has a very big bezel, and most of them have around 10 inches of a screen. There are 7 inches versions out there, but I'm going to focus on the 10 inch versions in this video. But in this video, I want to help you guide through the jungle of tablets, so you don't have to buy the fake one and waste your money. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you one of these things they are using for spoofing, a better said, fooling us. So the first thing that I did notice with the previous model and with the newer version that is highly possible they're doing this, it's pre-installed with the CPU set, but making you believe that it comes with a certain specifications. And that is where a lot of people, including myself, failed to understand that they are just fooling with us and trying to sell something that is not that it say it is. So nevertheless, as you can see here, with a lot of specifications, and one of the giveaways are the screen resolution. So with CPU-Z, I couldn't remove the app, and that's also very strange, because it's basically just an app you can download from the store. So looking at Ada64 that I download from the Play Store, you can see with the display settings, they had installed some spoof software, because this thing has an 800 by 1280 resolution screen inside or display so keep in mind that is something that you always need to check if you want to make sure that you don't have a fake version but in china and if you want to buy them the budget tablets there are a couple of different versions and as you can see they're almost identical they're only smaller minor changes but let's focus on let's say we are getting the real deal and not one with a spoofed system so basically what they are doing is grabbing an old tablet reinstalling the software and basically saying that it has different specifications. So that's the only thing that they are doing. And I just wanted to point this out so you know to keep an eye out for these tablets. So let's say you're going to buy one of these. What you're going to get is first of all, most of the time we're getting these iPad Apple ripoff boxes. So that's always the thing that you're giving with us if you're even going to get a box. So when opening up, let's say the packaging itself looks pretty nice and the first thing you will see is the tablet itself. So, but let's talk about the tablet itself and what can we expect for the money. The product itself weighs quite heavy and got this very nice metal finish at the back. It looks pretty cool, it looks pretty nice. Here we have this crappy camera and the reason I say crappy because it's freaking horrible. So looking at the display itself, it depends a little bit what kind of version and how much you're going to spend on it. But with this budget edition I bought, it got a very old display. So far I've seen all of these tablets have the option to add two SIM cards and an SD card so you can use this thing basically like a phone. At the back we are finding two speakers for stereo sound and they are pretty awful and don't sound very well. At the end they are just basic cheap tablets. Here we have the connection, most of them are still using the micro USB. But when it's coming to the functionalities in general, this is what you're going to get. Fun fact, the old and the new version still support the Play Store and we can watch some Netflix. And again, the Netflix movies run pretty fine. If you want to browse the internet, go watch some videos. That is also not a problem. But watching videos on YouTube and Netflix, I think this will not be the best experience simply because of the combination of the low resolution screen and the speaker. Or better said, stereo speaker that sound pretty horrible. Playing games can be fun. And it depends a little bit what kind of version you're buying, but if you're buying the latest version, you have some games like Mario Run will run on this device. But keep in mind that I did notice with browsing the Play Store that sometimes games doesn't install at all anymore because the Android version they are using Sometimes are just pretty new versions are pretty horrible and has a very bad support of older games and sometimes newer games. The camera is the same story, it's just a crappy camera. 
So if you want to buy a tablet with a good camera, you need to avoid this thing. As you can see, the pictures are pretty horrible. If you want to play some old games, that is still possible, of course, if you find them on the Play Store. And I must say they run pretty fine on a very cheap tablet. So that is something that was very surprising. But I wanted to know how are the games running on this device, even if it's a little bit older. It runs pretty smooth, even if Pinball FX is pretty demanding. And it's a very great way to test everything. For example, how does the touch feel? Does everything works like a charm? And when swapping at 90 degrees, how fast does it respond? And I can say it passed the test for a cheap tablet. But there is only one thing that concerns me big time. If I'm looking on these China cheap tablets, even with the newest latest Android version, I did notice that Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG, they are nowhere to be found. And if you're searching them, you will find they are not compatible. So at the end, if you're seeing now in 2020, a new cheap China tablet and you're thinking, hey, this looks very interesting. Keep in mind, you know the golden rule. If it's too good to be true, most of the time it is. So when you're buying a very cheap device, with very good specifications, and I'm talking about very good, it's highly possible it's a spoof system. So if you're buying a cheap China version with just let's say normal specifications and they are freaking cheap and you want to buy for the kids for example and you know kids they drop them, uh, yeah that is not a big problem because they are freaking cheap. If you want to buy for example a very good tablet you can always look for a different brand in China that has a different price range. But at the end, you will have a better experience and you can enjoy the product for a couple of years. I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell and become one of the Wicked family. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments.